And here it comes. There's the duck. Oh wow. Beautiful. Hi everyone, welcome to the Hong Kong Palace. One of the top Chinese restaurants in Mauritius. This is actually quite a fantastic place. We're not sure what's going to happen. It's all a bit of a surprise. I see cold coke. We've got some interesting things on this table already. Probably a garlic sauce and a chili. I'm just going to uh, give it a try because it has a little spoon. <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> Drinking the sauce. Oh wow, it's actually quite garlicky. Oh nice. Yeah, the slightly sweet garlickiness. Mm. Oh, we were busy telling you where we were at CPU, right at the top, second floor. <laughs> and this arrived. Well, what are you going to do all the way from there, Brad? So far away. <laughs> Easy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks quite good. Because we literally have no idea, <laughs> I think Ricky's going to try one. The yeah. garlic. <laughs> well, we find out now. Oh. <laughs> That's how you use chopsticks. Oh wait, I missed that, I missed mm. that. Is it good? Oh wow. Really? Mmm. Whatever this batter is, I don't know. Popcorn? It's good. It's like popcorn. Mmm. But they said it was calamari. <laughs> the outside. <laughs> Go for it. It really, it, it's definitely like a corn outside. It's like a popcorn coating. It's sort of like a corn dog. <laughs> a corn dog, no man. <laughs> This is like a popcorn coated calamari. It's really unique. I've never had that. It's genuinely like they, they crushed popcorn. Yes, and, and dipped the calamari in and then fried it. Oh, it is so yum. It is nice. I'm going to try it with chili. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, happy food. Mm. It's like something childhood reminiscent about mm. popcorn flavored calamari. Nothing that is quite unique. Super tasty, soft calamari, and this, what can only be described as pulverized popcorn flavor. I have no idea. I've never eaten anything never. like this before. Never. Me neither. Well done. Spring roll veg. Oh, spring roll veg. These are delicious. Yeah, they're very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look how wow. beautiful this is. Oh, my word. Probably got fried with it, so I'm going to eat it. Popcorn chili. Mm. Mm. Nice chili. That's a really nice chili. Mm. Awesome. I want to try one of these veg spring rolls that just arrived. That's the veg spring roll on the Ooh. beautiful presentation. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, look at that spring roll. Look what's inside. It's a veg spring roll. And just behind it is a ricky. Mm. Now we focused on the ricky. <laughs> it, wow. is a, it is very, it is very freshly hot. Ricky's going to try and cool it down with a Tons of mm. garlic sauce. Such a big table. I know. But <laughs> well, it's great for filming. <laughs> because I can get the whole of you in. Oh. <laughs> Hot. Mushroom. Okay. Gorgeous big piece of black mushroom and the dough is so crispy. Try some of those, Brett. Oh, thanks, Rick. Oh, reach. reach. <laughs> oh, spring roll. Mmm. Yeah, crispy, crunchy. Oh wow, that is so fully flavoured and the crunch on it. Oh, it is so good. I'll try dipping a little bit. And here we go. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. nice. Have a look at the size of this table. It's massive. You can put all your junk on it. Tons of space. I mean, if there were three or four people here, you'd have plenty of space. But it is a bit of a reach to get what Ricky has. <laughs> I've just discovered something. Have a look in here. You see these little bits here? These tiny little bits. Oh, Ooh, crunchy, Ooh. I can hear that. <laughs> and they're so full of flavor. Mm. If they sold a bag of these, <laughs> just the little bits. Mm. But I must say, this is truly mm. unique. Not to take anything away from the calamari. The calamari is great, mm. but those little end bits, you got enough chili on there, you can dip it. Mmm, <laughs> next level. Okay, very are you eating the flour? Mm. Unravel it. Oh, look at that. It unravels. And there's your salad. <laughs> Bye, Brooke. Oh, no. We'll get there. And there we are, exactly <laughs> like it was. No one would know she stole a bit. <laughs> Sit up here enjoying your wonderful lunch. Yeah. And watch the chaos of super you go down below. It is. It's funny. You watch the people mm. in front to park and things. <laughs> <laughs>
this popcorn calamari has been a unique experience. It's awesome. If you get the mm. chance to come to Hong Kong Palace, that is great. With some chili. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, crispy, eh? Mm. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Mm. <laughs> How's the crunch on that? Mm. Oh man! Something has just arrived. <gasps> it's a Peking duck. And the guy's gonna cut it right here in front of us. Oh man! Man, this is a skill to make sure that you get little bits of skin and... Oh man! Oh look, and then he cuts pieces off and then he plates it onto this beautiful plate with... It looks like... Uh, uh, an orange flower. <laughs> I love this Peking duck experience. It's the whole experience, and I've got a whole story about this actually, surprisingly. Really? You? A story? Yes, it's a, I know it's a bit unusual. Genuinely, this always used to be my birthday present. Yes. This was what I always used to get for my birthday, was Peking duck. Awesome. Well, happy birthday, bro. Uh -huh, it must be my birthday because I'm getting Peking duck. <laughs> Oh, the plate is starting to fill up with goodies. Oh man. Now we're onto the duck breast, I think. And we've just been cutting the back end. Sliced on the bias, I think it's called. The whole breast on that side. Oh, I think what he does is he takes the duck apart and then places it on the plate in where it would be. In duck format. In duck format, but <laughs> boneless. <laughs> Here arrived the pancakes. The little pancakes with the, the veggies. Plum sauce. And here it comes. There's the duck. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Thank, Thank you so you. much. <laughs> Ricky genuinely clapped. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. It is. It is beautiful. Oh man. How do you eat it? <laughs> Peking duck feast your eyes. Oh. Look at this table. Oh man. Can we wait? I don't know, I wanted to make one, but I thought I'd just try a little bit of the chicken skin first. Duck. A little bit of the duck skin first. Mm. Good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That shows how it's done. You get a pancake. Right, you get a pancake. Your veggies. All right. Salad bits, yes. Just be it. You take this piece of Peking duck. These are quite big ones, so I might just... Very big. So you take from the outside, which is the breast, then you take from the inside, which is the fatty skin. I watched a guy actually do it with chopsticks wow. once. I like to put my plum sauce right on top the, there. I think the plum sauce should go inside. How beautiful is that? Now, I did see them folded like this, and then like this, and then over. I'm not sure if that's the, the proper way. such thin pancakes, look at that. You can see everything through that. You really can. Amazing. And then you pick it up with your chopsticks, which I don't have. Yeah. Mm. 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 Peking duck. Ricky's going to give it a go. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, you can almost see you through it. That is like so thin. Are oh, you going to put your plum sauce on first so everything sticks to it? <laughs> mm. Oh wow, there's so much meat on this. There really is. I might deconstruct mine a little bit. Okay, it's just falling apart. Mm. And it's also full, full flavored. Full, full flavored. Delicious. Bit more. And then we wrap it. I'm just going to go for the one side, right? Okay. I should have pulled it with more, a bit more then. Uh -huh. I've got stuck. You do have more to stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. What a beautiful wrap. Mm, mm. That flavor. Oh mm. man. Mm. And the flavor on that skin. Yeah, that skin is gorgeous. This duck is unbelievable. You get some of the fatty stuff. Oh, you're recording me? Mm. Getting some of the fatty stuff in the middle. Ooh. I wish I remember how he did it properly. <laughs> you can YouTube it. <laughs> I, I should YouTube it, but there we are. There, there's a Stunning. special parcel. Oh man, just so good. It is so, so good. The oh. duck comes with an orange flower. Duck flower. <laughs> I was actually YouTubing how to wrap a Peking duck. Mm -hmm. I made a little one. You made a little one. A little taster. Just like duck in it. And some cucumber. 
Okay, duck and cucumber, the perfect combo. I've now watched a YouTube, but I'm not sure if we got this. So, uh, expert. <laughs> now, what he did was. Obviously, I'm just going to. Yeah, break the spring onion. Break the spring onion. But he put the stuff on one side, and then he put the plum sauce onto the vegetables, right, like that. And then I stopped watching, so I don't know what happens next. <laughs> Why did you stop watching? Yeah. Because I wanted to fool you. Like, that's in fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's enough information. So I think you put it on there, and I think maybe you fold it like this. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, so it sticks out the front like a like a sushi roll. Look at that. That looks beautiful, actually. It does look beautiful. Well done. I think that's maybe how you're supposed to do it. And then you make a couple of them. <laughs> make it stick down. it down. But, but there we go. Like just like wow. that. And then and then you. <laughs> I don't think mm -hmm. that's what you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's good. Mm. <laughs> Peking duck is definitely something that you would share. Mm -hmm. I'd say about four people would be about right. Mm -hmm. mm. It just has a smell that's different to chicken. It's lovely. I it's love duck. It's I love duck. Look at that crispy skin. Oh wow. I know it sounds a little weird. This sort of being like birthday and holiday food for us. When we first moved up to Johannesburg, we didn't know anyone. And everyone we knew went on holiday and we couldn't really afford to. So we'd go to a Chinese place, which was the only place open. Yes. <laughs> no, on Christmas Day, nothing else was open. So this is like holiday food for us. Yeah, that just became a tradition. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm making a beautiful one. Peking duck is one of those foods that you have to work a little bit at your food. So you get full because time is going past. <laughs> uh -huh. But you're not actually eating too much. Right? No. Because you actually have to do yeah. this whole assembly thing. And because it looks so beautiful and tastes so great, you actually put a little bit of effort in. Spend a bit of time making a beautiful wrap. Each thing that's only a couple of mouthfuls. Uh huh. Nice. Mm. Enjoy, Rick. Oh. You might have noticed that the orange got completely destroyed because Ricky is trying duck à orange. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you can get the essence. Now let us know how that is. Mm. Orangey. Oh, you just sniff it because none of the flavor came through. <laughs> Genuinely can't recommend this enough. The Peking duck really really great and you can get the calamari and, and other stuff it's fantastic but this top pick top top pick Jenny shoes <laughs> stop it <laughs> this is kind of one of the coolest things i like about uh, hong kong pillows there's no stairs you actually have to come up in a lift it's like one of those penthouse suite things where your only access is the lift super cool i think <laughs> Oh, I think it's ground. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, we are into the bright lights of Super Use parking lot. Oh man, look what just arrived. It's Japanese tofu, I think he said. Yes, it's a speciality. A speciality. Ooh. Ricky's yeah. already tasting it. And? Mmm, it's very savoury. Really? Mmm. Oh, I'm dying to try it now. Uh, who knew? We had no idea. The sauce tasted lovely. Oh, I'm going to try some of the sauce. Things like a black sure. bean or something. Oh, and look at the tofu. It's like, I don't even know how to describe that. I'm going to get a bit of it. This is not something we usually eat. We've never eaten this before, ever. Why don't you just eat it? Like, imagine it's not tofu. Okay, like it was beef or something. Yeah. Mmm. Sauce is good, eh? I know it sounds weird, but I thought that was like scrambled egg. Tofu. I don't think it was the tofu, I think it was like scrambled egg. But <laughs> I didn't hear mention of scrambled egg in the dish. Mm -hmm. I heard mention so of I'm tofu. So I'm taking a piece of tofu, for sure piece for of sure tofu. For sure tofu. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes like egg. Mm -hmm. Wow. I know there are lots of different types of tofu and lots of different things you can do with it. It is so soft, it's not chewy at all. Ah, this no funky flavour. This is not tofu I've ever eaten before. It genuinely, genuinely, genuinely tastes like, like an omelette. 
Oh wow. Well. You have to try Ricky. I'm going to. Try. Try. The texture. Yeah, Look at it. It's, it's so soft. Boing, boing, but boing, but boing, cut boing. one open. Let's just see what it's like inside because I was a bit far oh, wow. away from mine. Oh, it's like a custard. Yes. It's really soft. <laughs> it really, really is. Hold on, because the, the sauce is fantastic, but that tofu is... I can't describe how awesome it is. Mm. I really like this, genuinely like this. I'm not sure how I feel. The outside has got like that, mm -hmm. that egg omnity mm. feel. The inside is just too soft and airy. It feels... I, I don't know. This is a different texture. This is not food texture. Mm -hmm. This we, is cloud. <laughs> cloud. It's like eating. That's exactly what it is. It's a really nicely flavoured cloud. <laughs> yeah, maybe the rice will bring up back a, a familiar texture. I mean, look at it. Uh. It's like custard. <laughs> Doesn't help, does it? <laughs> it's still cloud. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's an unsure Ricky. <laughs> I think Japanese tofu is probably one of those things that you really, really love and can't get enough of or you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I love Peking duck. But this, this is the discovery of the day and I love it. I know Ricky is on the fence about it. I still like down. those popcorn calamari things. Those popcorn well. those calamari were great, but this for super me. Super unique. It's weird. I knew I would love tofu. Yeah. I'm becoming more and more vegan by the day. I, I still like the duck. Don't you get me wrong. That duck was awesome. But, but you like this. Mm, I love it. <laughs> I really love it. And you're just eating it out the bowl. <laughs> well, you said you didn't want any more. No, no. It's again, it's one of these things that you never tried. You have to come and try it so that you know where you stand. Well done, bruh. Top notch. Nice bathroom. <laughs> oh, here comes some pudding. Look at that. Uh -huh. Sago. Oh, oh what's wow. in? Is it in like a cream? Hmm. I think it's like melted ice cream. Melted ice cream. Little known fact about me, I went to boarding school. <laughs> we used to call these things frog's eggs. But this is nothing like Sago that you know. And I <laughs> used to hate them. Because the sago I'm used to is like baked into a like a custardy thing. These are all free floating. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can taste the little tadpoles swimming around in your mouth. <laughs> you must make sure you chew it all. I actually really like the ice cream and the milk, but not a hundred percent sure on the little tapioca balls. Mm -hmm. But that might just be a boarding school thing. I'm just not sure if you chew them or swallow them. Got to know. A I'm little chewing. bit of a chew and then a swallow. I'm chewing them so that they don't hatch. <laughs> You're gonna drink it. <laughs> it's bubble tea now. <gasps> You've made bubble tea. You're a genius, Rick. Oh, wow. Now it's good. <laughs> well, it was such a brilliant idea. Cheers, sweetie. Thanks for making Sago good for me again. <laughs> I love that um, after we'd eaten like all that calamari and the uh, spring rolls and everything uh -huh. and then the whole duck and stuff and the guy comes over and he's like great now we're ready to go into the main course and he wasn't joking he wasn't he really wasn't he was like <laughs> I said, no you now you're gonna get some, some beef, beef and, and the something fried rices and it's like, it's like um, wait no oh, hang on <laughs> We're not quite at that level of eating yet. No, no, we're not more queens. <laughs> no, we're not more queens. <laughs> How do people do that? I don't know. I really All right, don't so know. we're here, north of Mauritius, good old Grand Bay. We're actually in Ricky's store. <laughs> And super you. Yeah, super you. Oh. So this is where the Hong Kong Palace is. Oh wait, you have to take the elevator. And there it is up there. <laughs> oh yes, Hong Kong Palace. Uh-huh. We got prettied up. <laughs> College, College shirt. shirt. And look at it. Long pants. The long pants. The Palace of Discovery. <laughs> Palace of Discovery. Well, anyway, get yourself a bunch of friends. Come down here, get the Peking Duck, and then discover all that other stuff. It's fantastic. Well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. <laughs> see, don't like it. <laughs>